So we wanted to do a quick uh, quick video here. This is the first time that I'm actually talking to camera after our videos have been posted, so it's a little bit different. Oh, um, but uh, this is our uh, the final video of uh, the build as we are going through it. Um, I mean, you can see the smoker is uh, it's usable right now, but it's definitely not finished. So we're not done with the build. Um, it's we just got it to a point where we can use it now. So what we did is we were um, started in the fall and we finished up around November, beginning of November. When we finished building the smoker and then cooked on it that next morning, yeah, I mean, you'll see what happens. But basically we cooked a lot of food and we had people coming over trying to do this, you know, whole thing. And we rushed a lot of it at the end um, to try to get it so we can, you know, have everything done on time. Which meant that we didn't get a lot of the stuff recorded that we wanted to. So it's kind of an abrupt end. Um, and that's why we wanted to kind of explain uh, what uh, what happened. So we have used it a couple times um, throughout the winter. Um, we got some footage, so we, uh, we'll have it there for you guys to watch as well. And I'm holding the microphone here in case the audio doesn't work out. So that's why this phone is here. So all that to say, uh, we hope you enjoy you know this last little uh, you know, video, that part of the build. But we wanted to to show you you know as it happened. Um, you know, there's definitely some things that we would have changed if we can go back in terms of what we record. Uh, but in terms of like first reactions, we wanted you to at least see that and the first time we fire it up and all that, all that fun stuff. So and there's more to come. There's more to come. So you'll see it as it happens. It's not perfect, um, but you know, it is what it is. And hopefully in the future we can make, you know, better, higher, better, quality. higher quality stuff when we put in a little bit more effort into the recording and editing and all that. But, uh, but yeah, with that being said, uh, enjoy, uh, enjoy the video. <laughs> so it's dark outside. And it was snowing a little bit ago, so we have the half tarp. It's still really windy. I didn't want it to feel like putting that in out. Uh, but what we're doing right now is I was drilling the last of the four thermometer holes. The giant seven eighths bit, and then uh, once we're done with that, it's time to throw a big fire in there. Got a lot of overpriced firewood from the gas station down the street, if you can't really see in there, and also the smokestack is way up there, and also all welded up. Couple of welds down there and up top. Can't really see, but it's there. But yeah, we're we're getting there. So the plan we wanted to make some barbecue tomorrow. Or tonight probably. Have it done for lunch. Might be a little bit later so we can get some sleep. But it's probably, I don't know, 30, 9 o'clock right now. This thing's ready. It is ready. It is about time for us to put some heat into this thing. All swept out. Ready to go. Got the plastic thing right off the door. Looking good. A little writing. <laughs> some writing up there. This thing is clean as a whistle I'd sleep in here uh, it's snowing again but so there is our wood collection that we're gonna be burning hopefully enough of it we're gonna need some Got a couple chimneys going with some charcoal. It's, it's about that time. This is what it looks like trying to get a fire going with bad wood in the cold. It's late at night. Got some going there. Went and got some sticks from the woods. We'll go in there too. Kind of warm up some wood over there. You can hear all the 
moisture in there. Alex is breaking down pallets. <laughs> See what we're working with. Got some fire in there. Can't breathe around it because it's so much smoke. All right, we just dumped the rest of our wood in there and we're gonna shut the doors clamp them down and try to straighten that or not straighten but re-bend the the doors because they're a little bit sticking open hopefully that thing gets nice and hot just take a peek at that real nice So I got some cool stuff happening up there. You probably can't see it, but there's flames coming out of that thing. I don't know if you see that, but that's cool. It's just drawn like a monster. It's very warm, which is what we wanted. Hopefully, yeah, we forgot to put the grates. We <laughs> forgot to put the grates in. Stupid mistake. So. We could just, uh, we think about sticking them in the firebox, just laying them on the fire. Um, not my favorite idea, but it would definitely get them hot. Um, I mean, we could, we're going to season it after this. We could just do that. Just run it a little hot for a while. Or just set them all right in front of the fire. Yeah. <clears throat> Don't want to eat unwelded stuff. But this is cool. Cool stuff. I wonder how hot it is in there. I would imagine hot. But this thing is still freezing. So if you're wondering if insulation works, it does. A lot of work. <laughs> A lot of work. Look what we got going on over here. So last night, we burnt it. And we woke up early this morning to, uh, to season it. And we sprayed a bunch of cooking spray in there. Oh. Yeah, problem with the thermometers. No one told me that the uh, the metal's too thick for the the thread to grab so they don't stay yeah so if you look here that part of the thread does not fit through the the metal the wall and I paid like twelve dollars for these adapters that are just go in the back and you screw it in there and it's next to useless. So, I'm, I don't know. We could try to drill a hole or something, or grind down, or we'll have to figure it out, but that's kind of frustrating. But wow, that thing sure is changing color. What is that? Is that just like the, I think it's the heat, probably some of the heat. snow last night. Crazy. Alex has been manning the fire. I've been inside prepping some some briskets. A couple cans. So the grates are in there. How are the doors doing? We squeezed the doors in. They were a little better. There she is. 
That's nice. It's big. Big compared to what I'm used to. Cooking with a variety of wood today. And I hope we have enough to last. Got some like maple and oak in there. We've got our original oak that's years old. And then we have a little bit of apple wood. But it's almost time to put some food on there. Update. So Alex just made a terrible mistake oh. when he was putting these in. <laughs> Look at those. There was a washer on there that I thought was a calibration washer. Turns out it's not. And they can be taken right off. And that's exactly what happened. So, uh... There she is. Yeah, the firebox is just... It's freezing. If you get over on this side, it heats up, but I don't know if it's because of that or if it's because... Same thing here. Yeah, this one's warm. I mean, it's not... It's not burning, but it's... I did this last night and chopped that cord. Big sparks flew. But look at this. So this is the one right on top of the fire. It's running a little hotter. But overall, so that's 325. This is about two, a little over 275. A little over 275. This is about 300. At the, at, the, at, the, at the stack end. But yeah, we did just add some. And then we got our digital in there just to be a backup. But what does that say? 292. It's right there. Yeah, that's it's moving up. Look at the the color on this thing. Then you get down to the business end. It'll keep you warm. It's a pretty good uh, sucking the air right up in there, the flames. Oh, yeah. And still. Got a little warmer. It's warm, yep. Yeah. It's the longest it's been. I mean, we've been, been up since too early. Well, it burned last night, but started yeah. smoking at probably 5 o'clock. Something like that. How's the backside? Whatever that reddish color is, probably the, the primer or whatever that orange stuff was on there. For our our drip pan is struggling. <laughs> it's a bit of a mess, but <laughs> it's a big hole. <sighs> and it's windy, so it's just blowing the grips over. But I'm happy with how this is working. I was thinking about putting an American flag on that thing. <laughs> Just... uh, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. I'm afraid. Let's check the front one real quick. Just to see what's the front need, door? See if I need to dump water in it or not. Oh, okay.
switch my size. You got it? Yeah. Spray that pork too. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> That's a score top on there. <laughs> So, take a quick peek at what's going on inside here. Briskets, oh, come on feet. Look at that space. Pork butt, ribs, ribs, and then those chuck rib, riblet, beef ones. I think it's looking juicy. <laughs> Test this thing. Do they need to be sprayed yet? Yeah, These things look like venison. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say it. Get that thing on a sec, quick. All right. I'm on fire duty, Alex is going to pick up some more wood. This is about what we have left. But just to show you what's going on. So the front says about 300. This is, what, 265? It's about 275. And to 80, 90, 85, something like that. And the food is you know, between those two doors. But everything's, well, the briskets and the pulled pork are wrapped. The ribs will be coming off in a little bit here to get wrapped. We're almost there. Well, it's been a little while. As you can tell. We're out here trying to see if we can get some barbecue made in this nice, uh, nice warm weather. We'll see how this truck starts. I'll show you in a second where the smoker is. It, uh, it's pretty buried. This truck hasn't been started in a while. Oh, ho. That worked. This is what we're gonna use to pull it out, obviously. I'll go show you where the smoker is. So I don't know if you can see this at all. It's like five in the morning, but that's where we have it sitting. Well, we got it out of its hole. You can't really see it in there, but not too bad. Tires are a little flat, but I think we're ready to go. It has been a while since I've seen this. Check this out. I can tell you it's not cooking at almost 500 degrees right now. There's no fire in there. And we added a piece of wood to the top to try to restrict some airflow. Cause we're getting a ton of uh, a little bit too much uh, draft and that's why we have all the uh, 
the ash built up coming through. So we're going to try to limit that by their airflow. So it's going to be a combination of that and then have the, uh, the door as, as close as we can. Um, while still keeping the fire going, obviously, to see if the airflow will kind of slow down a little bit. After several months of not using it, I figure we might as well give it a clean and that's our Thanksgiving turkey, I think. Maybe a couple racks over here. Yeah, some, uh, some ribs or something. I wiped up all the uh, ash, or not all, but a lot of the ash from the, the grates at least. You can see underneath there, there is a, well, I'm not gonna lift it up, but there's a good amount. But we're not gonna cook on this end right now anyway, because we don't need to. Shouldn't we started some wood on deck. Oh, and we haven't showed you, uh, we made this, that wood rack, keep some of our, our wood. Leftover pieces from the original trailer, and some of the other things, so it's pretty nice. Gets the job done. We got going on there. Uh, right, at, right at the end. It doesn't matter. Go in the middle. Good. I think so. Try to back it up a little bit. Or... So what we got to our piece of wood that we had up there to restrict some of the flow. Got the sun. Oh, it's not even bad. No, it's not bad. Might have been smoldering a little bit. I don't know. So we cut a piece of our three ace metal that we had Morning. to cover it up. Uh, cooking. Uh, we got the brisket on, and we got the pulled pork and some ribs. Anyway, um, so you can kind of see the how the air is flowing. So hopefully it's not too much. The goal is to, you know, slow down the the draft a little bit, so we can get some. It might do his job too well, but we want to get some. Gives actually some smoke on the meat without killing the fire. Definitely is taking some time for this metal to warm up though. Oh, 
Um, and we also got this thing for Christmas. Yeah. A little fire. Certified fire poker. Twenty-five, right up front. Under two. About two. And we just open these doors, so about two. So we'll see. Our drain is just going like crazy, making a mess. But overall, the trailer held up pretty well. Tires are a little low. It was also in the negatives. Yeah, it was also in the negatives. So. Oh, I forgot I. Uh, still wearing his goggles. But we got some wood going there. So we'll we'll see. It's nine o'clock now. These. Last couple times we've cooked on here, it's just taken forever. And so we're hoping that up there we'll fix that issue. So we'll see. We got some ribs to put on and a pork butt to put on to make some pulled pork in a little bit. Feels good to be back. Update on the wood. That's what we have left. The other one, that's our second second trip of that. So hopefully we can make it out. It's been pretty pretty constant. We're keeping it about 300 on this side. And then uh, over here is usually around 275 and over. It's a little bit low here, yeah, just open the doors. We just put the, uh, the ribs on and then uh, the brisket and pulled pork are looking pretty good. That also be so kind. I think what we decided to do with the smokestack has been working out quite nicely. Come on, there we go. Probably about time to wrap that up. Come on, there we go. You can see the, the ribs there. Not the prettiest ones, because I forgot about them, to be, to be honest. So I just rushed and threw them on there. But over here, it's going pretty good. It's, it's warm. The door, if you remember, still won't close without pushing it and we obviously don't have the latch so it doesn't make much of a difference. How warm is this? It's starting to get a little warm. But it's definitely not hot. So it's uh what is it, five o'clock now? Well it's uh, four o'clock. Four o'clock. So we'll see. There's a chance we might just make the food, eat it tomorrow and put it in a cooler tonight and just let it stay warm.